Good morning. It's Friday, February 12th, and I'm here at the Los Angeles Zoo. I'm really excited to go and see the hippos today. in the water so they have obviously their ears their eyes and their nose are all on the very top for about five minutes and they actually can sleep underwater as well they play for hours and hours on end and Meyer just kind of watches from a distance as they close and open their mouths so they're very 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 short out of grain and seen any breeding since uh rosie's been born but um Because once they get out of the water, they their skin still needs moisture, so they sweat. Is it time for the next one? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. She's all fine. Is that a whole head of lettuce? I know. There's so many. So good. How much does a hippo eat? Well, uh... My God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a male Adama as well. Mm -hmm. so, well, it's like um, it's 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 day. I'm excited that we're getting to teach people about these guys. And would fit right in there. <laughs> Um, Rosie was born uh, October 31st, 2014, and, and now she weighs a little over 1,100 pounds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> In this line of work, we deal with a lot of big mouths, but take a look at this big mouth. I'm Rob Hayes, going to show you a new program at the zoo that lets you get up close and personal. Which is all part of the zoo's hippo encounters of animals. You can take a selfie with an SUV-sized beast. In Griffith Park, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. 